It is officially packing day in the old flat and we have three suitcases. The shelf is no longer a shelf, it's completely gone. And, um, oh, I'll explain the sofa because <laughs> basically I need to film two videos today so I'm gonna sit like here when I film, like there. So when, when you guys see my hauls coming next week, just know that only this area of the flat was neat because that's gonna be the background for my haul. <laughs> three suitcases, I have like all my stuff packed up it was like water bottles and toasters and whatever. I actually haven't even started my bathroom, which is going to be a really big task because I've taken out like most things actually, but not a lot of stuff. Basically, these are my cupboards right now, so they're kind of empty, but I just have like random things like the Chanel cream, like this, like I obviously need to take this with me, and this was like me doing my makeup this morning, and then just like products, products, products. These are the ones that like don't really go in my IKEA. Alex. I need to sort all this out. Don't freaking know. I think I might just shove everything in a makeup bag. And in my bedroom, let's have a look at the damage. Oh, there's just so much crap to tidy. <laughs> so much crap. I basically have put like bags of clothes down here, but basically in here I have Oh, things I'm selling, by the way. So I've actually been through my cupboard because I want to sell quite a few things and like declutter. So if you guys want to see on my Depop, I'm selling these rag and bone boots. I'm selling my Balenciaga wedges. I'll leave my Depop like on the screen um, right now. I'm selling like a parental shooter bag, a parental shooter clutch, like loads of designer stuff that I'm just like trying to just clear out and clear out. I'm just gonna say clear out and clear up. I was like, clear on out. Da -da -da -da. What's that song? You know what I mean. Getting delirious and we haven't even started. Everything from my bookshelf I put in here. This was like stuff in the cupboard that I need to take with me. General vases, condiments and things. So yeah, there is a ton of work to do. I also have this unit down here. I can't even remember what's in here. Like camera stuff. So I think that is gonna be task number one. Last thing in the cupboard. Okay, I wanna put you there as I am wrapping up some jars and things. Hold on, let me just wrap this and then we'll check. I've had loads of questions about why I'm redecorating kind of from scratch, but not really from scratch. I'm taking a few things with me, but not a lot of things. The first reason is because my new place is a lot bigger so in the bedroom I can fit a super king size bed whereas here I have a double bed and that means Hannah can come stay with me and like friends can crash and stuff like that and there's just like a lot more room in the bed oh there's the doorbell let's see who that is Hold on. hello thank you this just arrived and it's already open not sure what it is that's a bit strange so back to what i was saying so yeah that's my bedroom in the main room i have way more space to basically have a really big dining table you guys know if you've seen any of my vlogs like i love having people around and like having dinner parties and things like that so i basically have a table now that i've ordered that fits 10 to 12 which is amazing. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited for that. The other question is, am I living with anyone? And no, I'm living alone. But I don't know, like I say living alone, but then David's always around or my mum will always be around and obviously he dukes with me. And who else? Like Hannah's always around. Well, not always around because she's at uni, but Hannah's around a lot. And I don't know. So it doesn't really feel like I'm like living alone. David and I spend like, 80% of our non-work time together. The other question I got asked a lot of was why am I moving? And there's not really like a very good reason for why I'm moving. This was never gonna be like a long-term home. I've actually been here for 11 and a half months now, which is crazy because it feels like it's gone by so quickly. I feel like I was doing my like moving vlogs like my other ones like yesterday. The place I'm in now is half furnished. So I'm taking a lot of my furniture obviously with me and that will come to my new place. But I'm excited to like just have a completely empty space and just make it just like just amelia fi <laughs> if that's even a word it's not a word but just like make it mine by the way guys if you're ever looking for a suitcase these to me ones are the bomb because they have this whole section at the bottom like that's your suitcase and then like this is the bit at the bottom which is where i normally put like shoes and toiletries and stuff when i'm traveling oh and by the way it has like loads of amazing side pockets i'll try and find a link to it and put it below because it's the best suitcase ever <laughs> 
Okay, I'm taking a bit of a packing break. It hasn't actually been very long at all, but look at this down there. Just so you know, when you see my haul videos, this looks nice and neat. Oh, very nice, like neat background. Then it's like, boom, 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 boom. Oh my dear. Oh, and then that's the stuff. So this is like, you know, they, they say like your environment, like clears your mind and like blah, blah, blah. I'm looking at this environment and I'm like, this is a very messy brain environment. Space that hopefully by the end of today will be all nice and clean. <laughs> Video number one is done. Video number two is done. The flat is still a giant mess. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. The only thing that's like still intact and looking kind of normal is this table which I just love 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 so much and this is obviously coming with me to the new place. Today has basically been a bit of a weird frazzled day because last night David and I were in a bit of a car accident and thankfully thank goodness we're both completely fine and everything's okay but we were driving last night and this tow truck basically came and took off half my car. We like pulled over I tried to get out and I was like my door doesn't work and then the door kind of like dipped a bit so there's kind of like a gap between like the car and the door <laughs> so the door's like hanging kind of it's not like hanging really dramatically but there is like a noticeable gap at the top so anyway I had um, some people from insurance come and look at it today and basically the car is not fixable so that's something I've been sorting out all morning yeah so packing up the flat got put on a bit of a hold while the whole like car saga sorted itself out and now my car is no longer Longer, so I feel like this is like a weird end of an era like new flat goodbye car like I don't know I'm just <laughs> today has been the weirdest like frazzly day like moving actually is so frazzling <laughs> it's not even a word and you know when I'm frazzled when I make up actual words but yeah I'm gonna go I'll show you my car in a bit when I go downstairs this I actually got in anticipation for my new place I put on this dress by the way to film so that you would just see like my top half and I didn't take off my boots either so what am I wearing but yeah this is from Imba Home it's such a beautiful vase it's like wrap around leaf I absolutely love it I cannot wait to put flowers in this it's gonna be like one of the first things I do. So okay. this is the damage of my poor, poor baby. Oh my goodness. Literally, this is like, the door wasn't even lockable. It was so bad. And like, he literally <laughs> took my car off with him. So I just showed you my car. Bit of a sticky situation that. I know it sounds like I'm laughing, but honestly, I'm just happy that no one was injured or hurt or anything of the sort. So I'm very, very grateful for that. What are you doing? Except being so cute. Guys, I have a confession to make. This week, I know I was obviously gonna be packing up my stuff and my clothes. So every time I tried an outfit on, which by the way, I do multiple times a day because I change my outfits. Like I change my mind on what I wanna wear so many times. I've just kind of like shoved it in a corner in my room and today I was filming and then I was like well I'm not gonna put my clothes away I need to put them in a suitcase so now we have this <laughs> one giant pile of clothes it looks way smaller on camera but like here's the floor just to give you some reference and height of like how high and long this pile actually is so this pile needs to be sorted out right now because I don't even think there's matching shoes in this pile I honestly don't even know where to begin and I'm embarrassed that I'm showing this to the world and as if that's bad in my cupboard I attempted to put stuff away <laughs> throughout this week I've just been like ah I'm packing it all away I'll just shove it back in here and now this is what my cupboard looks like this is the neatest bit of my cupboard right now and that is saying something down I still have shoes bags dresses everything to go and I'm also packing for the Maldives as well so this is like gonna be a long long night ahead of me but hopefully when I get back from the Maldives there will be moving vlogs and then everything will be a go and it will be all nice non flustery times <laughs> don't forget to subscribe for more AL home videos because I'm gonna be documenting moving which will hopefully be way less flustery than this and I'm really excited to show you guys what I've been buying for my new apartment so I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. Say bye. Bye. Bye bye.